Hey guys, it's Ivo from mytestedsp.net and in this video we're going to continue with the Catstagram server. We're going to implement the followers and the following functionality of Instagram. So before we begin, I would like to mention that if you're new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications because I'm uploading new advanced C Sharp lessons every week. Now let's start. There are multiple ways to implement followers and followings, but we are going to use the most simple one. And if we decide in the future that we need to refactor it or change it, we are going to do it in one of the future videos. For now, we just want to create a new class which will say follow, and this class will represent. Uh, following on our app. First we need an ID, then we need a user which we're going to follow. Let's add, this is actually the user we're going to, uh, the user which is, which we're going to follow and this one will be the follower who is following the user. I'm going to say follower ID and follower like this. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add boo is approved in cases where the other user's profile is uh, private and we need to request a follow. Okay, so adding the follow is pretty much very simple. Then what we need to do is we need to uh, add a configuration for this new follow class. I'm going to add a DB set of follows. And then I'm just going to say builder entity follow cas1 user uh, and every user has many followers. I'm not going to create a collection for now on the user side. So let's leave it like that. And I'm going to say that we have a foreign key, which is the user ID. On delete, I'm going to say delete behavior restrict. Also, I'm going to need the same thing each follow has a follower with many users that can be followed and we have foreign key which is follower ID on delete again restrict behavior for the deletion good that's pretty much it what i need to do now is i need to add a migration add migration falls but first let me check the validations i want the these two to be required. As I said, I'm not going to add a collection for now on the on this side of the relationship, but in the future we may change it and may add it. Add migration follows. Then the migration should be Okay, there should be a user ID and follower ID. Good. Uh, 
we will need to add an option for the users to see other user profiles because for now when we go to the profiles controller we have only the current mine but we need to add an option for the people to uh, look at other people's profiles so let's add that too because before the followings we need to have an option an option to look at other people's profile and decide to follow them we also need a search functionality but we're going to implement that in another video uh, okay i'm going to add the profiles the other profile also on another video but for now let's just add follows and let's add a follows controller which is again an api controller so what we need to do here is we need to try to add some functionalities first one is to uh, to get all followers no first let's let's create first the option to follow a user we have uh, a user trying to follow a public profile and a user trying to follow a private profile when the user tries to follow a public profile we just need to add the follow in the database when the user tries to uh, add a private profile we need to create a request the other user should approve it and that should be it so for now let's create the public follow so what I'm going to need is public task from action result which should say follow and this will be on HTTP uh, post request so everybody who tries to create a post request to slash follows should have the functionality then I need to create a folder models and add a follow request model that's new class follow request model the follow request model should have the string user ID uh, actually yeah the the user we are trying to follow should be here and I believe that should be uh, more than enough so we're going to add follow request model model and here we need to uh, try to follow the user so I'm going to create I follows service actually it should be I follow service new class I follow service which will just say task from result follow and I'm going to say string user ID and string follower ID 
who is trying to follow who essentially and one last class follow service which is I follow service and implements that I'm going to add the user to going to add the service to I follow service and follow service like this good okay um, the logic here we need to make that for authorized users only I'm not sure whether we should mark everything as authorized we, m we may just mark the the whole controller it will be better so to speak what we can also do because almost everything in Instagram is actually for authorized users we can go to the API controller and say that we want every route on the API controller to be authorized something like this so from now on every single uh, action will be authorized automatically and we may now remove the authorized attribute from the controllers so the API controller has everything for authorized users also the profile controllers should have everything for authorized users The only exception for now is the identity controller because we need to uh, register without being an authorized user. So I'm just going to specify allow anonymous here on the register and on the login. But everything else should be authorized by design. At least for now. Okay, so the follow service first we need to find the user which we are, are trying to follow so private read only gets the gram db context data like we did in all our services for example here uh, follow service at the read only the read only uh, service from the constructor and now we need to validate some data first we need to see whether the user we're trying to follow is public so var public user public profile this is essentially this dot data profiles where we want such a profile which user ID is the user we are trying to follow and we want to see whether the profile is private private profile uh, can see how I just fetch only this column from the data I don't need the whole profile to see whether it's private this is a small optimization but works very well on scale so always try to fetch 
the prior the fetch only the combs you need i have a very good series on entity framework performance so if you haven't watched it make sure you check it out it's in the same youtube channel you may find it on the playlists i'm going to leave uh, this uh, link in the description but it's really important to write optimized queries so this is one of those cases where we just fetch only the combs we need because if the profiles uh, the profile starts having a lot of more information for example the pro the, the photo may be a byte massive or something like that we may hit a problem where we try to fetch multiple uh, fetch multiple comms because we are going to fetch that data that it's not needed and we are going to uh, use additional memory from the server without having the need to do that so that's quite important always select only the comms you need this is why we are creating models for every database request to select only the data we need okay so private profile uh, if the profile is private we need to just create a request otherwise we need to create a, a following so this dot data dot follows dot add new follow and we're going to say okay the user we're trying to follow is the user ID the follower we're trying to uh, the follower who is trying to follow the user is follower ID and is approved should be whether the profile is private if the private is if the profile is private we should mark that is approved as false maybe it will be easier if we say public profile and just get the opposite so if the profile is public we should just say it's approved right away otherwise we will set it to uh, to not approved and we are going to say that we just want to have safe changes and return true what errors we may fire here the first thing uh, the first thing we need to check for is whether this user is already followed by this follower if that's the case we just need to return false uh, so var user already followed equals this data dot follows search for at least uh, at least one entry which has the user ID and the follower ID If the user is already followed, return false. Are there any other uh, checks we need to do? I believe not. We just need to check whether the user is followed. Of course, in the future, when we try to, when we add uh, blocked users, because Instagram has that feature when you can block users from following and seeing your profile, we may need to. Uh, remove it but we may need to add another check but for now we're not dealing with blocking users so if the user is already followed which and it doesn't matter whether the profile is public or private if uh, we already have a request or an actual follow we should return false or an error message user already followed This user is already followed. 
Otherwise, we need to check whether the profile is public and set the save changes. OK, good enough. And then in the follows controller, what we need to do is we need to provide I current user service, current user. Then we need to say that we also want private read only. Let me check which one comes first. It's always the service. So let's add private read only I follow service follow, follows like this and let's add that to our constructor good follow request model user id so we just need to var result equals await this follows dot follow. I need to say which is the user I'm trying to follow and that model from user ID and which is the follower. The follower is me. I'm trying to follow some user like this. And then I would need to say if result succeeded, return bad request, result error, otherwise return OK. This is getting repetitive, so it's a good idea to extract it. To extract it to with result failure, actually, it's a good idea to uh, extract it in a way. We're going to do it in one of the future videos because this is just a repetitive action if result failure bad request if result failure bad request so i'm going to improve that in one of my future videos so the following is actually done for now but we need to handle follow requests and we need to handle uh, approvals and declines and we need to return the total number of users that are followed in the current profile. So what we can do now is add in the profile controller to when we get the profile to return also how many users are following this profile and how many users are uh, this profile is following. Good. Before we do that, I'm going to show you where you can find the source code. The source code is available on my GitHub profile. It's Ivaiwo Kenov. You may follow me if you like. Hit repositories, then write down TV here. And that's the repository in which I'm uploading everything uh, from my YouTube channel. You may start the project. I will be extremely thankful. You may also watch it if you want to be notified for every video lesson I upload because I link every single video lesson here. So it's a good idea to watch the repository so that you won't miss anything. The source code is here and you can easily uh, clone it, play with it, open a pull request and so on. I'm going to use the moment to thank my sponsors. That's Endeavor, 2K, Softuni, Smart IT, Noble Hire and OneBit Software. A few words about my diamond sponsor Endeavor. 
they are constantly searching for passionate developers so if you are looking for a new opportunity make sure you check their website out and these are my god sponsors Tsuke, Softuni, Smart IT, Noble Hire and OneBit Software thank you guys you truly rock and you truly motivate me to continue providing free education on YouTube so what we need to do now is but first actually what we need to do is we need to make profiles searchable we need to make uh, we need to make the option to see another user's profile and we need to then implement the followers the follow requests the total number of followers so what's next it should be the searching of other profiles we kind of uh, went fast forward here with the followings because you can not follow an account or a profile if you cannot search for it so that's my mistake this uh, video should have been after the search but nevertheless uh, so what we need to do now is make profiles searchable profiles uh, accessible if they are public or private of course and then we need to implement the forward so I'm going to leave that for the next video in my next video we are going to make the profiles searchable uh, before returning to followings it, it just uh, it doesn't make sense to uh, be allowed to follow accounts and not be able to search for them so before I finish this video I would like to invite you to my mentorship program which is really cool because in my mentorship program which is available on patreon slash Kenov, I'm going to leave a link in the description you may find additional video lessons which are exclusive for my patreon feed uh, I also put uh, posts every month for my next content so you can vote for uh, different kinds of videos you can also be my boss and tell me what kind of video exactly to create every month it, there are a lot of possibilities so if you are interested in additional exclusive video lessons make sure you check that uh, my patreon and you may also decide to subscribe to it if you find something useful for example I have a poll for my life workshop which is exactly live and you can ask me questions during the whole lessons uh, here is a poll for the next community voted lesson here's an exclusive video for Azure pipelines step-by-step -step DevOps continuous integration continuous delivery a guidebook 70 pages practical guidebook about domain driven design and clean architecture we start from scratch and build an app using these approaches and this uh, concepts and many more live workshop about model binding C sharp to C sharp communication grpc signal war rabbit mq a lot of stuff I'm uploading on my patreon every single month so make sure you check it out so guys that was it for this video it was a short one but in the next one we're going to add the search functionality bye for now